I'm Rob Van Rapphorst. Welcome to NBA Now. With me is Eddie Perez. Eddie, thanks for being here. Thank you, Rob. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the Certified Mortgage Bankers designation? I know you have your CMB. Yep. Talk about its value a little. Well, obviously, it sets a standard that you're a professional in the industry. Right. Um, not only are you viewing it just as a job, you're viewing it as a career. And not only as a career where you've allowed yourself to stop, but that you want to keep growing. So it definitely puts you in an elite crowd. Yeah. It's no surprise that seven of the last NBA chairmen have been CMBs. Right. Um, it definitely gives you a lot of respect because it's like entering an NBA, you went to the next level. Um, and more importantly, I think one thing that's not really felt that I think this industry needs, which is great, is it allows you to give back. And since I've gotten my CMB, so many people have started asking me questions. There's a lot more interest because me knowing a lot of the industry folks, it definitely says, okay, it's possible and you can do this. So I think yeah. that's another part of it is, not only does it set you apart as a professional, uh, definitely in excellence, right. but it allows you to give back, which is always something you should be doing. Right. Switching gears a little bit, you know, okay. NBA is such a leader when it comes to policy. Absolutely. We've really been at the forefront in terms of transitional licensing. <laughs> uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Oh, well, it holds a dear place in my heart. Yeah. Obviously, being an independent mortgage banker, obviously, that's the big win. Right. And the NBA has been there from day one um, for all its members. And they've definitely pushed that through. Uh, they worked with a lot of Congress members, Senator Menendez at the yeah. advocacy conference that I introduced. Because the problem was it was creating a really big disadvantage. Um, people that worked at banks couldn't leave. Right. And if they wanted to leave, they'd have to wait 90, 120 days, depending on the state. Yeah. And that put them at a big advantage. I mean, just on Friday alone, I had a friend of mine who said, hey, have you thought about starting a bank? I said, no, well, not till transition licensing's done. It doesn't make sense for me and my team yeah. to give up our earning potential. And look, everybody's got families. Right. They have consumers too. Right. Um, I think the transitional license is not only a big win by the NBA for the industry, but what the NBA has always done along the way. Support its members and more importantly, support the consumer. Because I think in the end, that's who's really paying the price without having that. Yeah. Look, you've been such a big voice in the NBA thus far. We really appreciate you stopping by, talking oh, a little bit about it. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it always. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at MBA Mortgage and like Mortgage Bankers Association on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah.